Hi everybody, Pierre from Reception Academy. Today I will correct the exercise 16 from our home study guide. Please note this tutorial video has been designed for students taking the Opera PMS home study course. If you don't have already access to the software, you could find more information about the course on our website. Um, I have added the course link to the video description below and you could get Opera PMS installed and tag along. You just have to click on book now. For this exercise, I have created a reservation under the name of John Doe. It is a booking arriving today for two nights for two guests with a rate inclusive of breakfast. For the first task, your guest wanted an air dryer arranged in his room. So it is an item inventory. Click on the drop down menu. Select new. Find from your list your hair dryer, which is just here. You do not need you do not need to change the date because it is for the full stays and one air dryer. Click on OK. Press OK to close your item inventory window and press save. The system sponsors you with a question about creating the trace. Say yes. Ensure that the details are correct and click on OK. Attach guest address details to the booking. To do so, go to the profile ellipsis. And type in the guest address. Ensure that each word starts with a capital letter. Once you're happy with the details, you just need to click on OK. And save. Guest informs that he will be checking in at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So you wanted to record it to inform your colleagues. So you wanted to go to arrival time and type in 1800 for the arrival time. And you could have added let arrival advised uh, in your special request, so just and then the system asks you if you want to attach it to the profile. A letter arrival is a one-off. Say no, and save. Guest requested two additional large towels in the room, so you wanted to create a trace for housekeeping. Click on options, select traces, click on new. Type in the department or click on the drop-down menu if you don't know the code. Drop-down menu is just here. And here type in your message. Please arrange two additional large towels in the room. Then click on OK. Close your traces window. And close options. Then save. Create and attach Pirate Treasure Limited to the booking. So this was the company profile. Go to the company, type in the name of the company, in our case Pirate Treasure Limited, and press Tab. The system will show you the list of all the companies under the same name. However, we do not have one matching our address, so what you need to do is you need to click Search, and then you will see that the new button will become available. So click on Search, then click on New. And here the minimum details you have to add was the address, and the generic telephone number and email address of the company. Once you are happy with those information, you just need to press OK. Once you are back on the reservation, you can see that in our case, the market is set on leisure, but because we attach a company profile, the purpose of stay need to be changed to corporate. Select it and click Save. Guest always wants a high floor near the elevator, and a non-smoking room for this day only. So you wanted to go to your features and you wanted to select the high floor and the room which is near the lift. Just here. And press OK. The system asks you if it's for every stay, if you want to attach it to the profile, say yes. Save. Now in addition to that, your guest wanted a non-smoking room for that occasion. So click on your drop-down menu here. Go to your smoking selection and select a non-smoking room. Press OK and say no to the profile because you wanted it for a one-off occasion. And save. Guests want to be addressed as Captain Jack Sparrow all the time. So you wanted to do two things. First, record it into the profile. And secondly, you wanted to get this pop-up message appearing whenever we will open the reservation. So let's start with the profile. Go to your profile ellipsis. Go to options. And select notes. 
So the department you wanted to select was a general node because it's for more than one department. That's okay. Addressed as, and now the message. Guests always want to be addressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, what you wanted to do is to press OK. You wanted to close. You wanted to press OK on your profile. And once you are back on the reservation, you wanted to get this pop up message appearing. So you wanted to create your alerts. Click on Options. Select Alerts. Click on the code drop down menu and select greeting. You wanted the message to appear all the time, so you have to be set on reservation. And here you wanted to free type your message. If you copied your message from the profile notes, you should be able to paste it. Here, whenever we will open the booking, the system will prompt us with guests always want to be addressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. Press OK and close and close your options and save. The next task was to check in the guest. So our guest is arriving today um, and the room is specific due to the air dryer and the extra towels. I will have assigned the room in advance and I would have added the letter do not move just like so. So do not move which means that the room number would not be changed and the reason why hair dryer and extra towels. So as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, I would also assign a room in advance. Most likely the non-smoking, click search, no result. So when you don't have a room like this, you need to remove a couple of features to keep the one which are the most important. Here we are, now we've got a room, you can press OK and save. And because my guest is arriving fairly soon, I will also give a phone call to the housekeeping department to be sure that those items get delivered before the guest arrives. So now what I will do is I will accelerate the check-in process and I will see you again in cashering billing. We are now on the bill of the guest. I will start with posting all the items. Then I will change the number of night to zero in order to ensure that the room might get posted. Then I will rename the window and move the item to that window. And finally, I will apply the discount on the bill. So let's start with the posting. Click on post and here, my guest had a dinner, 40 pounds of food and 12 pounds of beverage. So I push restaurants, press tab, and then I select restaurant dinner food. 40 pounds and I press enter to move on to the next line. So once again restaurant and this time we want to select dinner beverage and that was for 12 pounds. Then I press enter to move on to the next one. My guest had a massage so spa 90 pounds and we wanted to specify what type of spa was it was it a therapy or treatment or in our case massage so right on massage is the best massage um, and then you move on breakfast food so guests had the breakfast inclusive in the right you can see it here most likely it was a visitor breakfast so we'll have to specify it so once again restaurant breakfast food 20 pounds and here we write down visitor breakfast you can put extra breakfast there is only one in here um, up to you how you write it down, but we need to understand that it's an extra breakfast and not one which was already inclusive in the package. The next one was newspapers with Daily Telegraph. So here what you wanted to do is you wanted to write news, press tab, and you wanted to post an article, and that was a Daily Telegraph, one point ten. Then your guest brought his car, and uh, that was a car park. So what you wanted to do is write car, then it was 50 pounds per night. So the guest was staying two nights, so the quantity would have been two. And what you wanted to write down in reference is car parking for two nights. Always be specific, it's always more clear for the guest. You will understand better when you see it on the bill. Then your guest use a minibar. So write down the minibar, press tab, say yes to post article. And you had one Coca-Cola. And once again, we add a chocolate bar. 
So your guests wanted to buy two bathrobes. He has been agreed with the manager. These are 50 pounds each. What you wanted to do is write miscellaneous, 50 pounds, two in quantity because two bathrobes. And then you write down two bathrobes. Finally, your guest uh, wanted a taxi to if we uh, So taxi is paid out. 90 pounds. In reference, you put taxi to e. Here we are. And then you are done. You just have to press enter. The system will tell you how many copies you want to print. Here, uh, normally you say okay, but I say close. And I was done with all my posting. So now what I do is I will press close. And all the charges that I have created have been posted to the guest bin. The next task was to change the number of night to zero on the reservation screen. The same can be achieved from settlement early departure. So I click on settlement. I will select early departure and I press OK. The system tells me that the room and tax charges have been posted. Press OK. And then you do not want to take the payment. You close. And here, as you can see, the system will have changed my number of nights to zero. The so date of departure is the same day. The status is due out and the room rate has been posted. The same would have applied if you change the number of night to zero, knowing that your guest did not sleep overnight yet. Guest wants breakfast, dinner up to 30 pounds and room rate on a separate invoice under the company address. First, we need to rename the billing window under the company. To do so, it's routing. Click on options, select routing. At the top of the form, click on Window. Select where it's a name. There's the drop-down menu, the name of your company, because you have attached it during the reservation. Window 2 is fine, and press OK. Close your routing instruction window. Say No to Refresh Folio. And close your options. Perform a right-click, and select New Window. Now, with the routing, we have renamed the window under Pirate Treasure Limited. It is time for us to move the items as requested. So the room rate needs to be moved. The breakfast needs to be moved. And now we've got an issue because the dinner, we cannot move all the 40 points. We can only move 30. So what you need to do is select it with a cross, perform a right click, click on Split Transactions. Select a month. And what you want to split is 30 pounds. So you type in 30 and press OK. The system will have split your 40 pounds into 30 and 10. Select your 30 pounds and drag and drop. So the guest complains that he never used a minibar and he gave us a voucher with a summer promotion for the spa. So let's start with the minibar. Select both minibar items. Perform a right click. Select Adjust Transaction. Adjust by Selected Posting. Other Reason. Percentage 100%. And here write down the diplomatic answer. Mini bar not used. Charge removed. Once you are happy with it, you click on OK. The system prompts you that two items has been adjusted. Press OK. If you look at your charges of the minibar, the plus and the minus is equal to zero. There is absolutely no point to keep it on the guest bill. You want to transfer all those charges to an empty window. To do so, perform a right click. Once you have selected all your items, select transfer to window. And the next empty window is number three. You select number three. And here you can see that your, all your minibar items has been moved to window number three. And the total balance of the window is zero pounds, which is correct. The second thing you wanted to do, you wanted to apply the 20% discount on the spa. So select your spa, perform a right click, select adjust transaction, adjust by selected posting, press OK. Then you've got something called promotional discount, press OK. And here it was 20%. And then you type in your reason, 20% discount on spa, summer promotion discount voucher. Once you are happy with those details, you click OK. The system prompts you that the charge has been adjusted. And you will see the minus 18 pound 
matching your 90 pound here. So the difference will be the 80% left to pay. Because the guests still have 80% to pay, the plus and the minor charges will remain on window 1. This brings the correction of the exercise 16 to an end. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.